year 2021 welcome to my channel gaurang the motivator today i am here to trigger your brain with a new scientifically proved motivation topic which is smart sparkling effective and educative a perfect steady plan to score 100 out of 100 in your upcoming board examinations 2021 so my dear students let's not waste the time and move on to the topic so my dear students here's my first question to you today in this beginning of the new year the question is do you believe that you have power to change yes do you believe that you have power to change is my question if you have the power to change then how will you do it right my students life is a series of choices and the best choice of yours should be hard work hard work is the most precious asset we should have my dear students to get this we need to have power to change ourselves how we can change ourselves nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take some risks or work hard yes my dear students i repeat it once again nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take some risks or work hard everyone has the hidden quality within us we have to just tap it we have to just tap it and say oh talent please get up please get up that is how you have to wake your talent so my dear students please remember that everyone has the hidden quality within us we have to just tap it and wake it up yes when you work hard and never give up definitely you can literally achieve anything anything my dear students please remember that when you work hard and never give up you can literally achieve anything in your life break down your negative qualities in you for this academic year 2021 and add just a little more effort break down every negative qualities in you and add just a little more focus break down every negative qualities in you and add just a little more time management just a little more patience just a little more studying break down every negative qualities in you and add just a little more listening and just a little more discipline in your life this is the resolution that we have to take for the academic year 2021 my dear students let's move back to the question the question was do you believe that you have power to change do you believe yes my dear students let me ask you a question here 
Is birth in your control? No. Right? The birth is not in our control. Is death in your control? No. Even death is not in our control. But, my dear students, life between the birth and death is in your control. Life between the birth and death is in our control. So, never wait for massive things to happen for a massive actions. My dear students, if you really want to change, then first you have to move from opinion to belief and a belief into a conviction. That is, you are the one who can change yourself. You are the one who is responsible for who you are and where you are in the life right now. My dear students, time is all we have this moment right now. It cannot be acquired once it's gone because you never become younger and younger. If you really have power to change, then change right now. My dear students, if you really have the power to change, then change right now. Not tomorrow, not a day after tomorrow, not after a week, not after a month. Because time is all we have this moment right now. Remember, my dear students, nobody in this universe can waste anybody's time. It is we who waste our time and say to others, don't waste my time. Yes, it is we who waste our own time and say to others, don't waste my time. My dear students, please remember that you are the problem and you are the solution to everything you put into action. You have the power to change yourself. Your daily actions determine what your goals are. So self-assess yourself every moment. How to self-assess? To self-assess, we have to keep our conscious awake. How to keep our conscious awake? Just tap your conscious and sing these three line song of glory to your conscious every day, every moment. What is the song? Say this song. Ho oh, conscious! In every moment of my life, please be with me. Yes, you have to say this line every day to your conscious. Say this, ho oh, conscious. In every moment of my life, please be with me. Then say to your conscious, ho oh, conscious. In every single act of mine, be thou my guide. Yes, you have to sing this. In every single act of mine, be thou my guide. Then, repeat the third line to the conscious. Ho oh, conscious! When I stray far away, bring me back again. Yes, when I stray far away, bring me back again. Yes, this is what we have to say to our conscious, tap our conscious and keep our conscious awake every time, my dear students. So, my dear students, the topic what we are discussing today is being proven by scientists. 
these are certain study techniques which are more beneficial from others yes my dear students on the occasion of new year i would like to share those techniques which are scientifically proved and is very very easy to execute it successfully to become a remarkable student in life so what are these those are nothing but the first scientifically proved technique is memory palaces yes what do you mean by this memory palaces it's a ancient greek technique memory palaces is a ancient greek technique how you have to put it up walk through the environment you choose like your house or surroundings place objects in specific places start matching the objects with things that you want to learn this is known as memory palaces okay this is the first technique so here you have to remember the concept of placing objects in specific places either inside your house or outside the house and try to match the objects with things that you want to learn this is the first technique which is known as memory palaces moving on to the second technique which is known as the portage effect what do you mean by this portage effect explain what you learn to someone else because teaching someone impact your learning skills yes my dear students when you explain or teach someone younger than you will definitely score higher than the student who learned for themselves it is because when you have to teach someone else you must understand the material more to recall it more accurately and apply it more effectively therefore my dear students the technique two is the portage effect okay so this technique has four steps again the portage technique has four steps again what have you to do with this write the name of a concept on the top of a blank piece of paper then write down the explanation of the concept as if you are teaching it to someone who is 5 year old yes my dear students first you have to write the name of a concept on the top of a blank piece of paper then write down the explanation of the concept as if you are teaching it to someone who is 5 years old then identify what is missing then go back and relearn it review everything and simplify as much as you can this technique helps you to deconstruct and reconstruct ideas in you yes my dear students this is the second technique which is known as the portage effect moving on to the third technique number 3 studying effectively what do you mean by studying effectively are you not doing it yes of course you are doing it but studying effectively means reading again and again yes my dear students reading again and again read read it read it again highlighting your notes 
using keyword mnemonics practice tests spread out your learning to others yes this is the third technique study effectively my dear students moving on to the fourth technique the zepernik technique the zepernik effect the zepernik effect is nothing but you remember unfinished tasks better than tasks you completed it is because it is because when we interrupt the task it creates task specific tension in us yes my dear students please keep it in mind whenever you remember unfinished tasks better than tasks you complete is because we interrupt the task it creates task specific tension in us and when you are studying for this you have to take frequent breaks yes my dear students when you are studying take frequent breaks so that your mind makes you focus on the tasks unfinished yes 100% true scientifically true your mind makes you focus on the tasks unfinished don't go for longer study sessions without taking a break it's of no use my dear students study for 25 minutes and take a 5 minutes break study for 25 minutes and take a 5 minutes break my dear students so this is the technique for which we call it as zeigarnik technique okay zeigarnik technique or zeigarnik effect moving on to the fifth technique that is distributed learning yes my dear students fix the time schedule to study every day at least one hour instead of continuously studying hours together so this technique is known as distributed learning question yourself here question yourself do you eat throughout the day from morning to evening no do you do the same work throughout the day no do you sleep throughout the day and as well as night no then why do you study continuously throughout the day from morning to evening and late in the night it's of no use but it's just waste of time scientifically it is proved that distributed learning is the most effective method to study so instead fix the time schedule to study every day at least one hour distributed learning this distributed learning keeps you fresh and brings remarkable changes in your life so my dear student that was the fifth technique okay now and the last message of mine in this video i would like to share with you a small story of mine When I first started using pen in my primary school and I made a mistake I would try hard to erase it before submitting to my teacher Sometimes I used chalk to clean my mistakes but it later reappeared So I began to use saliva it worked but only to leave holes in my books my teachers 
then used to beat me for being out recklessly dirty but all i tried to do was to cover my mistakes or errors one day a kind hearted teacher who loved me so much called me aside and she said any time you make a mistake just cross it and move on yes my dear students even i would like to repeat this statement once again what my teacher had said to me she had said me any time you make a mistake just cross it and move on she further said to me trying to erase your mistakes would only damage your book to nothing then i told in protest that i don't want people to say my mistakes or see my mistakes teacher what should i do for that my loving teacher laughed and said trying to erase your mistakes will make you more people know about your mess and the stigma is your life yes my dear student please i repeat this statement she said to me that trying to erase your mistakes will make more people know about your mess and the stigma is your life and she further said if you have made some mistakes okay in life cross it over and move on cross it over and move on don't expose yourself as a result of trying to cover your mistakes better things are ahead of you so this is what my teacher had suggested me and i am in this position today my dear students i request you to to strike out all your mistakes and move into 2021 with a fresh note and put it into actions the significantly proved study techniques that i have explained to you today here yes my dear students i once again wish you all a happy new year 2021 please subscribe my channel like share and comment thank you